Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a four digit number and a two digit number and we're going to do this using the vertical format. Now let's have a look at our first example. What is 3659 minus 27. Let's put a nice big equal sign here. So 3659 minus 27. How are we going to do this? Well firstly I like to label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds and thousands. And this will help us to work through this check the sign, it is subtract. As always, we start on the right hand side first. So let's show our workings at the bottom here. Units, 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. Next, we're going to do the tens. 5 minus 2. So let's write this down. 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. As for the hundreds, well, we've got six hundreds minus zero, so that remains six. And the thousands, we've got three thousands minus zero, so that remains three. So therefore, our answer is 3,632. So that was a nice easy one to begin with. Now let's work through our second example. This time we have 8,445 minus 38. Again, I'm going to label the columns, units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. So let's start, as we always do, on the right-hand side first, the units. We have 5 minus 8. 5 minus 8. Now, because 5 is smaller than 8, we cannot do this. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take one of the tens and move it across to the units. How many tens have we got? We've got 4. So let's cross out 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now the 1 we have taken from here, we're going to move across to the units. So the units has now become 15 minus 8. Not 5, but 15 minus 8. And you should know this from your mental arithmetic. 15 minus 8 is 7. So we can write that in the units column, 7. Next, we're going to do the tens. We've got 3. Okay, it's not 4 anymore, it's 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 equals 0. So we can write that down. The hundreds, we have 4 hundreds minus 0, so that remains 4. Thousands, we've got 8 thousands minus 0, the answer is 8. So therefore, our answer is 8,407. Okay, just follow the principles. It's a lot easier than it looks. It's very simple to follow through. What we're going to do is work on one which is slightly more tricky. This time we've got 7,118 minus 62. Now let's put a nice big equal sign here. And again, I'm going to label the columns. You don't have to but it's good practice. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. So starting on the right hand side, and let's show our workings, we've got 8 minus 2. Well 8 minus 2 is 6. So what we're going to do is write down the 6 over here. Next we've got the tens. 1 minus 6. 1 minus 6. Now because 1 is smaller than 6, 
we cannot do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one from the hundreds column next to it. So let's cross out one and we're going to put down zero. One minus one is zero. The one we have taken from there, we're going to move across to the tens column. So the tens has now become 11 minus six. Not one, but 11 minus six. 11 minus six is five. So let's write that down. Okay, we're now on to the hundreds column. The hundreds column, we've got zero minus zero. So that remains zero. The thousands column, we've got seven thousands minus zero. The answer is seven. So therefore, the answer to the question is 7,056. So just follow the principles and you'll get it right every time. So that is subtraction of a four-digit number and a two-digit number using the vertical format.